Yes, darling. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Last time I saw you on the screen, for me, let me talk for myself, it was like three years ago. It's been mm. a minute. Where have you been? I've been around trying to gather myself, growing in the industry, knowing what to do and what not to do. So, yeah, uh, I went away to grow. You know, interestingly, I, I just saw on your, your manager's page, mm. he posted, you know, it's like, where has she been? <laughs> so I had to hit him up like real quick, like, can you get on my show? Yeah. Oh, but then I released, I released Ice Cream last year, September. And then from then, I've just gone a little backwards to see what I'm bringing out again. Because um, when you bring a song out, you you get the response and out of that you know what to do next so from my honey and then ice cream and now 411 there's fire coming okay so before we bring the fire today mm -hmm. let's let's play back let's start from honey your yeah. collaboration with aquaba yes and, um i saw in an interview you made mention that right after that video was released you had a nomination of yeah nigeria that's ael yes um, in entertainment legend yes How yes I didn't know what to do because I've always wanted to break through Nigeria. I even wanted to go and start my career there, but if you don't know anybody there, some way be. But I was very surprised and I was hoping to win, but it's a big it's a big step for me. And after that, I just know that there are bigger things waiting for me. I can't I can't sit. I can't sit. Super. And even before I saw you starting like, your music career, I used to be a presenter. Have you put on pause or Yes. When you're both presenting music? No, I put that on pause because uh, I can't do that too. I have passion for music and I want to do music. And out of that, I can do other things. Out of music, and I can act, act out of music. I can present out of music. I can do whatever I want to do. So music first for me, music first. You are like jack of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> or should I add the rest to it? The things I can. <laughs> Go on, let's do that. Okay. okay. <laughs> let's do that. Okay, so that was Honey with you and Aquaba. Yes. Now, you also surprised me again when I saw your video with Kwame Ujin. Mm -hmm. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. So, Marcus, why mm -hmm. do you use sweets to name the title of your songs? Uh, that was Honey, now ice cream. Oh, but then the yeah, recent, sugar, the yeah, recent, sugar, I'm a sugar girl, yeah. I have a sweet tooth, but then the recent one doesn't, uh, it's not called uh, sugar. It's called 411. Okay, uh, we'll come to that. Yes, so, so my honey, my honey, honestly, my honey, I didn't name it. Ice cream I did, but my honey, I didn't name it. Ice cream, even ice cream, I'm not sure I did. Ice cream was written by Kwame Eugene. So I think he already had a name for it. But coincidentally, it just happened that the first was honey and then the second was ice cream. Not my fault, is it? And that, that video was amazing. I mean, I love, I love the, 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 the graphics. The colors. The ladies do your yeah. wet dancing. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the choreography, is, the girls came up with the choreography and I just had to follow the dance because I'm not much of a dancer. <laughs> I'm not much of a dancer. I'm, no, but then I can perform. Oh, yeah. I can, yeah, I, 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 I know what to do when I'm on stage. I know what moves to make when I'm on stage. But when it comes to the trendy dances, I know, yes, yeah. Miss you. I see a new yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Tell me one of your experience on any stage you've been to that you would like the world to replay, you'd opt for it. I should replay. Kumase. 
Okay, tell me. It was a, I think it was a Fossa TV something. And I had to perform on stage. The way the crowd received me, I can never forget it. I can never forget it. It made me want to do more. And up till now, I would love to go back to Kumasi and perform. So they are part of why I'm coming back strong because I've been doing shows and I'd be wanting to go there a lot. It looks like you have a lot of fan base in Kumase. I do. When, when you went on stage, didn't they start calling you, uh, who is this white girl? No, 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 no. They actually loved me. They actually loved me. They were cheering to my moves. They were, they were singing along. Okay. And you don't get that often. Look, they were singing line to line. And I was surprised. But I loved it. And thank you. <laughs> you, you are privileged to know how to speak Cree. Oh, yes, yes. Video on here, uh -huh. so learning both languages. So, yes. I ask, are you full Ghanaian? I'm full Ghanaian. I was born and bred here. Okay. And my mom is Ghanaian, full Ghanaian as well, from Ashanti region. Me as oh, So now I get why you love Kumasi. No, no, they loved me first because I had not done anything in Kumasi before. But for them to accept me like that, they made me feel at home. And so that's home. That like a privilege you going back to your home. Yes, yes. And I didn't know what to expect because I didn't know if they would think uh, because I'm fair, I won't be accepted or but the way they received me, much stress say fear me fear. Okay, so when you mounted the stage huh. initially, mm -hmm. were you having that phobia, I mean that fear? Yes, I was nervous. I was, I was, and trust me, I was very nervous. I was very nervous. I, I had, I had only one song at that time. It was just my honey, and I had to do a cover of, I think Bob Marley or something. After, so I honestly didn't know how they were going to receive me, but everything was boom boom, and I loved it. Look, Kumasi was one of my biggest experience. I'll never forget it. Now let, let, let me play with your your gifts. I mean, you act, you present, you, you do music. Have you have you have you featured in any movie before? Yes, yes, I did. Be, way before music, I I worked with um, some Nafti students. They are no more students. Nafti directors. Uh, now he's a big name. Kwame uh, Che Che Bafo. Oh. Che Bafo is a big name now, but. I was I was in one of his movies, one of his big movies at that time, and I've worked for Stella. She was new at that time. Teens Life, Teens Life is actually on YouTube. I did it with Juliet Ibrahim and Eddie Watson. Yeah, I've done Teens Life, and in school I used to do a little bit of acting here and there. And the funny thing is, when I was in SS, I refused to join the drama club, and in SS I got my first award. Yeah, so they were very surprised in school. Like, this girl, she doesn't act and like you don't know. I didn't act in school, but I acted outside school. But before SS, I was doing a lot of acting. You find me everywhere. You find me in the dance. You find me. Uh, that's Arafina Tin. Man, do some. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, let me lead all the dance, the choreographies. And I, I enjoyed my childhood growing up, I did, yeah. See, and mm. you're just so free spirit, you're a happy person. Yeah. How are you enjoying stardom now? It's always been the same. I think I've, I've always been like this, even when I was in school. Um, like I said, when I was little, I used to be the choreography, so every, everybody puts me on top. So I grew up as an entertainer. So every time I told my dad I wanted to be a doctor or something, I was like, nah, you, you are an entertainer, you're not going to be a doctor. And um, um, in school, yeah, I, I just used to lead everything. In modeling, you see me there. In acting, you see me there. In singing, I, I'll raise up my hand. I want to lead the worship staff. When we go to church, I'll go and take the microphone. It's me. I want to do everything. I want to do everything. So um, when I wrote my first song in Ola Girls, my father heard is like, okay, write more and let's see. When he came back to visit me the next time, I'd written a full book. 
and I took my time to sing all for him. And he said, you know what? Where is your trunk? I said, it's in the dormitory. Can you organize some girls to bring your trunk out? I said, what are you doing? He said, we are going now. Look, my dad didn't tell the authorities he was taking me out of the school. That same day, he took me out of Ola Girls made me a day student of uh, Datus. That's why I completed. But from that very moment, my dad knew he was taking me somewhere. When I got home, every weekend I was singing karaoke, but the karaoke that pay. Um, it wasn't even the karaoke with the singers singing. It was just the instrumentals and then me singing. And I charged hotels and I charged the pops to go and yeah. I was I was I was I was receiving about seven thousand every week or so. Look, I used to You're a businesswoman as well. Yes, it comes with it. <laughs> no no but music is seventy percent business. The thirty you're lucky if there's talent. <laughs> <laughs> so that means you did um, um, that. Is that one at Kanishi? No, the one in Tema. Oh, that's in yeah. Tema. So Tema girl. Yeah, I'm actually a Tema girl. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, was, I was born and bred in Tema. Okay, so to let viewers know who I'm chatting with or interviewing right now, let's play back and let's drop your video with Aquaba that's honey. Mm -hmm. Let's get the show a little bit active so I can set my active water. So watch this video from Sora K. She says, Honey featuring Aquaba. I'll be right back. Cupid, let's go. Minimati, tete, minimati, nyu, nyu, nyu. Minimati, aye, minimati, swa, nye. Minimati, vita, minimati, tum, tum, tum. Sere, au, dotia, no, bibi, samen, suwa, mi, hunu. Fallin', fallin' for you, baby. I gotta keep on loving you. Fallin', fallin' for you, baby. I gotta keep on loving you. Loving you, got me, got me going crazy. I gotta keep on. If Mama born me, come this water again, boy, I'll be true you. If Papa born me, come this water again, boy, I'll be true you. If Mama born me, come this water again, boy, I'll be true you. But no one must sum up, 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 sum Mini mati ya yentron na mini mati ya yeno kwari Mini mati ya yenton na mini mati suwa ya ton Mini mati ya yeti na mini mati suwa ya she Suwa bani mini udanti ya minti ya siya Baby, you just don't know, you just don't know The way ya umu mami mami tribo Sao de unza fami tribo mba You just don't know, you just don't know the way you hold my mommy, mommy, three boom So they won't start to show me three If mama born me, come this water again, boy, I'll be true you If mama born me, come this water again, boy, I'll be true you If mama born me, come this water again, boy, I'll be true you But no one must sum up, sum up, sum up, sum up Welcome back to What's Up TV exclusive interview right here with my pop goddess Sorakis and yes I have my active burner make sure you get one and keep active yes yeah, so Sorakis mm -hmm. let's play forward to your collaboration with Kwame Eugene first of all what was your experience with Kwame Eugene well, Kwame is actually a very nice guy he's very nice and um, I was there one day when he called to say Sora I've written a song oh. I think it will suit you, so come to the studio, let's work. So I went, we did the song, I went home, my dad didn't like it, he thought it was too um, profane, so um, he wanted me to trash it, but everybody who heard it thought it was very commercial, and they didn't think I should trash it yet. So it took another year or two before I said, okay, I want to release it, it actually, no, um, <laughs> my dad died and then after that well, that's, that's fine. after that I thought okay I need to come back and the only song I thought I should come back with was ice cream because it was commercial 
not because uh, it was profane. And I just thought, okay, fine, uh, let's do it. So Kwame was like, oh, I lost the data. Let's emoji play the beat again. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fast forward, we did it again. And then I released it. And everybody was happy for my comeback. Nobody said anything bad about the song. Everybody was just happy I was back. And the thing that impressed people was the video. They thought because the song was profane, the video was going to be very nudey and yeah. But everybody loved the colors and how I played around the ice cream theme for the video. It, it was a studio something. Yeah, it was a studio video. And um, yeah, our Skyface did that. Thank you. <laughs> Sky face. And I'm also proud of you. Thank that you. That your comeback was, wasn't, you know, most artists go dark. Yeah. When they come back, it's like, yo, she doesn't even come. That's it, yeah. You People say that. that. When mm-hmm. I saw that video, I was like, oh, she's back. But for me, let me speak for myself. Yeah. I didn't, yo, know, Sora Kids, I, I see your video online, on, on TV, and all that. Still, I, as I said earlier, I saw your manager post you, like, ah, please get Sora Kids. Please get her. <laughs> So now, since ice cream we boiled down to 2020, mm. which has been challenging for we as humans, yeah. but you've managed to. I hear you're coming with an EP, mm. and it's already you. you know surfacing. It's called <laughs> 411. 411 is off. 411 is actually off the EP because. Um, we have more than enough songs for the EP, so we just thought, okay, we won't add 411. But since we are waiting to release the EP, let's just release 411 off the EP because it's 2020 and nobody has heard from Sarakis and people are asking, is she gone again? I'm like, okay, fine, let's just do this. Let's release 411 and anticipate for the video, um, for the EP. Yes, yeah, so there's an EP coming. I believe you've heard some. Of course, yeah. I've, I've heard a couple, and um, I wish I could mention. <laughs> Trust me, wait for the EP. The artist she featured, wait for the EP. I, I mean, I play in my car like, every day, but you no, know, I can't. Uh, I can't leak it. I mean, come on, I'll be here. <laughs> so yes, watch out for four one one by Sorakis. But before I go, we are in the like second quarter of the year. Yeah. What are we expecting from Sorakis by the end of twenty twenty and beyond? Uh, an 8-track EP with videos. Now, uh, maybe I'd release some with the video or I'd wait and release the video one by one after the EP. Whichever way, 2020 is full. And I think 8 songs is enough to end 2020 in a happy way. Your, your hands are full. My hands are full. <laughs> I do. So pardon her when you DM her or something, she doesn't respond. She's busy. Not my fault. Yeah, she's about to start the paper. <laughs> you know. Anyway, so um, do you have any upcoming events that you've already booked? Because I understand most artists have events coming up. Later this year, a lot of people, a lot of artists are going on stage doing their thing. Do you have plans for any tour? or any events in Ghana or outside Ghana? It may happen. I can't give away too much right now because we have a, a situation with the virus and we can make plans but nobody can tell what tomorrow is like. So I can tell you I'll be on stage tomorrow but I may not come because something might come up. So we're all hoping and praying that this virus will go away and everybody will be back on their feet doing what they like to do. So that's it. Something unique about you, you know during the lockdown, um, most of our female artists jump on social media, you know, throwing shots at each other. Yeah. You were in your own classes, <laughs> you were calm like with the whole chaos around the world. Can you tell me your view when it comes to beef, when it comes to the females, because you know, beef is common with we male artists. Yeah. But for females, it's rare. So yeah. when you heard all this beef, what was your take? Because we females, we take everything personal. And trust me, if you beef at to me, it's personal. Beefs are good for the industry, it's good for music. If it's healthy, a healthy beef is always uh, is, is allowed. But there are certain things you don't say, certain limits you don't cross. So I'm a calm person. If someone throws a beef at me, I may or may not respond. You never know. I may just shun you. Mm-mm. Never. Nah, I'm a chilled person. I don't mind my business, so. 
if that topic come, me I'll say some. <laughs> I don't no no I don't think anybody really minds your business if that topic that topic comes up between you and your friends. Trust me, you talk about it, but it's not supposed to go out there. Or if you catch me talking about you, if you ask me if I said it out there, I said it. If I didn't say it, I didn't say it. But if I said it, I said it. Now she's bringing her acting to make sure she's acting. I'm not acting. It's is it it is what it is. <laughs> so Rockets, let's draw the curtains down with. How soon are you bringing out your EP? How soon? I can't promise you. Let's see. Maybe next month or next two months. I can't promise. I just want a four one one two be out there i want people to soak in for one one cuz it's a it's it's a song for a good ear it's an evergreen song can you explain for one one is it a chord is it what's for one one means truth truth yeah and with everything that's happening uh it's for it's for those who are not ready to be in relationships So if I allow make the person jump if the girl want jump small relax make she jump because we all know relationships are very stressful a juma a full employment with subscription they are talking to us so there's a new thing that's going to trend <laughs> when you have guy and you approach a lady and she's being all you know that means it's for one one <laughs> spider is that true yes so you you made up this whole thing for one one or is no No. Yeah, no, Koshe. Yeah, sure. Now, now all the codes mean something. You just have to know what code you're playing around with. But for one one has always meant truth. Anyways. So, make up for one nine. You know the meaning of for one nine. But today you know the meaning of for one one. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. All the codes. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, th- thank you. You are smart. And I thank you. So, as I said before, I draw the curtains down. Oh, this one question I wanted to ask you. Mm, ask away. What's your favorite food? Food. I wanted to say gobe, but let me I, I want to say gobe, but let me be very, you know. Is it like gobe? I like beans and plantain. Beans and fried plantain with fish. No, 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 no. No, I don't like the fish. Oh. I like meat inside my beans. You know, but I like the uh, meat from stew. Oh, gives the beans a little flavor. I don't like curry in my beans, but I like the beans to look like stew to match the fofo. Okay, so hey. for our international dish, what is gobe? That's why I didn't say gobe. You see, you see you are saying gobe. Oh. I said I wanted to say gobe but I won't say gobe. It's beans. All beans. Right, <laughs> that was Sir Akins watch out for her new single which was opted from her EP called 411 and that before she leaves please drop your social media handles and after that your last words and we are out. All right guys, my name is Sarakis. You all know that. Uh on my Instagram I am Sarakis one word. On Facebook I am Sarakis Sarakis. And on Twitter, Sarakis. Uh, on my Snapchat, it's private. When you come and follow me on my Snapchat, don't don't think you'd be seeing, you know, the things you want to be seeing. It is what it is on there. Sara hyphen kiss. If you like, join. If you like, don't join. But the rest, join. Important. Important on um, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and on Facebook. I am Sarakis. Don't forget that one. We won't forget. <laughs> Thank you so much for having. Thank you. The show, and I will want to have you again. And I'd please love to. make sure when your EP is ready, bring it to us at this. <laughs> I will. Thank you for having me. Thank you to Sorakis. Of course, that was the pop goddess of Ghana and Africa. Once again, my name is Emzi Nigel. Please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at E M C E M I G U E L, as well as Facebook, WhatsApp TV. Instagram WhatsApp TV, YouTube WhatsApp TV and Twitter as well. Before I leave, what is video from Sorakis featuring Kwame Eugene and they say ice cream. Stay tuned. I'll see you the same time next week.
Listen to the things I say Say you want to be my lover And in me where I make you the go gaga I call it I raise the watch on the back You won't give me range and sonata Say you want to be my lover Me where I make you the go gaga Gaga, I call it Iris, the watch on the back. You won't give me range and sonata. 